Jim Carrey's suit was made of yak hair, and each hair was sewn on individually by hand. And it took four months to make the entire costume. Booga, booga! Jim Carrey worked on the film for 92 days, and he came in early every morning to sit for two and a half hours while his makeup was applied. First, his skin was cleaned, and then a protective coating was applied to preserve it from the glue. Each of the green prosthetic appliances were then glued on, and after that a green layer of paint was applied to his face to match the appliance's color. Then multiple layers of color were applied to make his face look more real and translucent. Once all the paint was dried, his hair pieces were then glued on, and finally he was ready to film. Once filming had wrapped for the day, it took an hour to remove all the makeup from his face. 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. Jim Carrey said being the Grinch was like being buried alive on a daily basis, and the producer had to hire a CIA operative specialized in torture resistance to help him endure the long hours inside the makeup and costume. Kill again! <laughs> Ron Howard wanted to experience what the makeup process was like, so he had them dress him up to look like the Grinch for one day of filming. Great, let's move on. The makeup for the Who's was also pretty complex, so the filmmakers wanted to figure out how to populate the scenes without having to put prosthetics on everyone. The visual effects team solved the problem by creating a CG Who construction kit that allowed them to build hundreds of unique CG characters into the scenes. For example, this shot was produced entirely in post-production and it contains over 200 CG Who's. Since Dr. Seuss's worlds are filled with curves, Ron Howard didn't want the sets to be built with any straight lines. He applied this rule to the cinematography as well, by using a lot of Dutch angles throughout the movie. The dog who played Max was actually a female, and she was saved from a dog pound because she was the most responsive to the trainer's commands. Ron Howard hired cartoonists to create some of the storyboards because he wanted them to make the scenes funnier by adding more slapstick gags which is why the movie feels like a live-action cartoon. The movie has over 600 visual effect shots, which add up to about 43 minutes of screen time. Over 300 of those shots involved a lot of CG effects. For example, the opening shot of Mount Crumpet and Whoville had over 40,000 CG trees. Many of the sets were designed from styrofoam, and it took six miles of styrofoam to build all the sets. Not only that, but 152,000 pounds of crushed marble was used to make the snow for the Whoville suburbs, which was enough to cover nine football fields. The Grinch is a family film, and apparently Ron Howard took that to heart because he cast several people of his family in the movie. You can see his son, his brother Clint, who played the mayor's aide, Hooverus, 